This right here should be R8, Jonathan. Listen, guys, I'm going to tell y'all something about what's fixing to happen. What's fixing to happen is it's going to get cold. I'm going to give y'all a quick little tip here on locked and loaded. This table, this son of a gun right here, we run our boats in some of the super wet conditions. It's been a lot of rain, a lot of misty mornings, those sorts of things. A lot of days it's getting hot, a lot of days it's cooling off. Moisture, evaporation, back and forth goes into this cable. I'm gonna tell you right now, it's fixing to get cold. And if we don't wanna have any issues, this throttle cable is a big deal. What am I gonna do? I'm gonna come in here, take this thing, I'm gonna cut these zip ties off. I'm gonna unhook this off the back. I'm gonna unhook it right here. And I'm gonna take that son of a gun and I'm gonna take a high pressure blower, gonna blow through it. Then I'm gonna sink this son of a gun in, in some diesel. I like to use diesel. and let it sit there for about, oh, four or five hours. Then I'll take that blower again, blow in that hose, and I'll put it back in that diesel. Let it set another four or five hours. And then after that, I'll take this son of a gun, put it right back on. 90% of the time, the rest of the season is good to go. It will not freeze up. Because trust me, if you don't do something and you hunt really, really adverse conditions, go from a lot of rainy days, a lot of old 40s and 50s cloudy overcast like this and you get sunny days that evaporation and that moisture gets back and forth it goes back and forth inside this cable and it will get in there and i promise you you'll show up to the landing one morning when it's 10 degrees and your throttle cable be be frozen you'll go to try this crunch on this son of a gun you'll pull the ends off of it that's a tip you can use diesel, which I like. You can use WD-40. You can use antifreeze. I've had antifreeze kind of work, and sometimes it hadn't. Diesel, to me, seems like it works best.